What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And in this video, I am going to be building the mission models contained in bag eight for the FLL superpowered 2022-2023 game. Contained in this bag is the watch television, and in order to successfully build it, you are going to be needing these two bags labeled number eight, as well as this unlabeled bag. All right, let's get into the build and I hope you enjoy the video. All right, so first up, you'll be needing a red cape, red hair, a yellow lightning bolt, blue pants, a green torso, and finally a head, but you want to make sure that you have the one with brown eyebrows and freckles. And now to assemble that, we're going to take the torso and put that on the pants. And now we're going to take the red cape and put it on here. And now you can attach the head. And then the hair. And then finally, we're gonna take that lightning bolt. We'll lift up the left arm and go ahead and put that on there. And I'm going to set this off to the side for now. Now for the other minifigure, you're going to be needing a red cape, blue hair, that blue flame, orange pants, a blue and purple torso, and this head right here that has black eyebrows and no freckles. And I'm going to build this one the same way, torso onto pants. Then we can put the cape right on here. The head will go on top of that. Then we can attach the hair. And then once again, we'll lift up this arm right here and then insert the flame into the hand. And you can set this one off to the side as well. Now you'll be needing four black pins and a green frame. And you are going to insert one of those black pins into each of these four corner holes. Now you'll be needing four long blue pins and four of those size nine dark gray beams. You know they're size nine because they have nine holes. And you are going to take the short side of those blue pins and insert them into the two end holes of one of these beams. And then you are going to put another beam on top of those pins. And now you need to make another one. So you should have two identical pieces. And what you're going to do is you're going to insert these two pins into this hole and this hole on both sides. Now you'll be needing two black pins and a green frame. And you are first going to put this green frame onto these four pins. And then you're going to take the two black pins and insert them into this hole and this hole. Now you'll be needing two dark gray tees and you're going to insert the center hole of each piece onto these two pins. Just make sure that when you do that, the two T's are facing away from each other. Now you'll be needing two of those blue pieces that are part pin and part axle, two of the green pieces with an axle hole and a beam hole, two of the green pieces that are a pin with an axle hole on top, and finally a size three gray axle. You know that axle is size three because if you hold a beam up to it, it spans three holes, making it a size three axle. And now what you wanna do is you wanna insert the axle hole of these green pieces onto either side of the axle. Just make sure that when you do that, 
the two beam holes are facing in the same direction. And then you're going to take the pin part of the blue pieces and insert them into these two holes. And finally, the axle hole of the remaining green pieces will go onto those blue axles. And now what you're going to do is you're going to insert these two pins all the way through these two holes. Now you can set this piece off to the side. Now you'll be needing a square white cap, a red cap, and one of those black plates. And the first thing you want to do is put the red cap into this corner right here, and then the white cap will go right below it. Now you'll be needing a medium flat white brick and a black plate. And the first thing you want to do is insert this white piece onto these two studs. And then you are going to attach this plate from under onto that white piece as well. And if you did that correctly, you should have a completely open area right here. Now you'll be needing a variety of these flat white bricks, one small, two medium, and one large. You are first going to insert the small one onto these two studs here, and then one of the medium ones will go on these four right here. The long one will go across this entire edge, and then another medium will go in the final four spots. Now you'll be needing this green brick, and what you're going to do is you're going to flip this over, and then you're going to insert that green piece right here. Now you'll be needing two white bricks, each with three beam holes, two of those curved gray pieces, a long blue pin, a size three gray axle, four black pins, and two of those curved beams. Now the first thing you wanna do is stack these two curved gray pieces like this, and then you're going to insert the axle through this hole right here. And you wanna make sure that you have about an even amount of axle on either side of those gray pieces like that. And then you are going to take the long side of this blue pin and insert it all the way through this hole right here. And now you are going to take this pin and this axle and insert it into these two beam holes right here. And then you are going to do the same thing with this one. So these two curved beams should line up like that. And now you're going to insert the black pins into these two holes on both sides. And now finally you're going to insert these white bricks upside down onto the four pins that you just put in. And now you are going to go ahead and attach these two white bricks onto these four holes and these four holes. So if you do that correctly, this green piece should be centered between these two beams. Now you'll be needing two of these tan pieces that are part pin and part axle. And you're going to insert the axle part into this hole on both sides. Now you'll be needing two of these green pieces that have an axle hole and a beam hole. And now you're going to attach the beam hole to the two tan pins that you just put in. Now you'll be needing two of these size 12 red axles. And now you can go ahead and pick up this piece I told you to set aside earlier. And what you're going to do is you're going to take this piece and just set it up like this. And then you're going to take the two red axles and insert them all the way through this hole and this hole into the axle hole of the green pieces that you just put on.
So now you see the axles are sitting in these two green pieces. Now you'll be needing a blue piece that's part pin and part axle, three black pins, a size 11 green beam, and one of those curved white plates. And the first thing you want to do is insert a black pin into the second hole from the end on both sides. Now you're going to take these two black pins and insert them into these two holes on this curved white plate. And then finally, you're going to insert the pin part of the blue piece into this hole right here, and the black pin into this hole right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this piece that you just made, you're going to put it on the edge right here, and you're going to slide those two pins that you just put in into this dark gray T in the back. Now you'll be needing the same parts that you did for the last step, a blue piece that's part pin and part axle, three black pins, a size 11 green beam, and a curved white plate. And you are going to follow similar steps, black pins, second hole from the end on the beam, then you're going to take the two holes of this curved white plate and insert them onto those two black pins. Except now this time, instead of inserting the rest of the pieces on the left side, you're going to insert the pin part of that blue piece into this hole here on the right, and then the black pin will go right here. And you will do the same thing with this piece, just now on the other side, put it on this edge, and then slide those pins into that dark gray tee in the back. Now you'll be needing six black pins and two dark gray tees. And you are going to insert three of those black pins into this hole, this hole, and this hole. And you need to make two of these. So you should have two identical pieces. And so now you're going to slide this red axle into this center hole right here, and then insert the three black pins into these three holes here. And you need to do that on both sides. Now you'll be needing one of those long red bricks, a long dark gray brick, two of those bricks with an axle hole in the middle, two of those circular clear pieces, and two of those curved brown bricks. And the first thing you're going to do is put a brown brick at either end. And then you're going to put the red bricks with the axle holes onto these two studs and these two studs. And then you're going to take this long red brick and put it over this whole thing. And then you're going to flip this over. And you are going to put one of these circular clear pieces right here. And the other one right here. So you should have two open holes on either side of those pieces. Now you're going to flip this back around and insert these two axle holes onto these two axles. Now you'll be needing two of these red pieces that have a beam hole and an axle hole, and you are going to insert the axle hole of these red pieces onto these two axles. Just make sure that when you do that, the two beam holes are pointed upwards. Now you'll be needing a bunch of red pieces. You'll need two of the single stud bricks, two of the two stud bricks, and two of those curved pieces. Now what you wanna do is take one of these single stud pieces and put it onto the double stud piece. And then you are going to take one of these curved pieces and put that right on top and you will need to make two of these.
You should now have two identical pieces. And you are going to put one of those onto these two studs and the other one onto these two studs. Just make sure on both of these, you see the curve goes down like this. Now you'll be needing two long blue pins and two size nine red beams. And now what you wanna do is insert the long side of those blue pins all the way through the third hole from the end on both sides. And then you're going to take this other beam and center it onto those two pins. And now you're going to insert these two pins into these two holes. Now you can go ahead and pick up the mini figures that we set aside earlier. And what you want to do is you want to bend them into a seated position. And then you are going to sit the one with the red hair into these four studs back here. And then the one with the blue hair will go onto these four studs right here. This is now your completed watch television, and it should look just like this. Now, just before we finish up this video, there is one thing that I would like to point out. If we take a look at this small bag labeled number eight, you'll see we have a few extra pieces. We have one of those circular red caps, a square white cap, a black pin, and one of those single stud red bricks. If you have something similar, do not be worried. Typically they include extra pieces, usually the smaller ones. In case you happen to lose one, you'll have a spare and it won't be a huge deal. All right, so this is the completed watch television and that is the mission model contained in bag eight. And so that's about it for this build video. Feel free to check out all our other Lego videos in the playlist in the top left corner. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like. Leave a comment if you have any questions or an idea for a future video. Feel free to follow my Instagram in the description below. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.